Hello, my name is Pastor Larry Gates. I'm the visiting pastor here at Christ. Our word for the devotion today is taken from Matthew chapter 13, beginning at verse 47. Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up on shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in baskets, but threw the bad fish away. This is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So far, God's word. Dear friends in Christ, go and make disciples. I always love the Great Commission because you see, it's one of the great instructions that God has given us. We who know the Bible, know God, have been instructed to take his gospel message and plant the seed of faith in the hearts of all the people around us. We can't convert anybody, but when we plant the seed of faith, it's only a matter of time before God will bring that person to faith. Well, that's the, the simple command that God has given us. Well, then why don't we? You know, quite often we leave that up to the pastors or other people because we say, well, maybe I'm not qualified or maybe I might make a mistake. And, and pretty soon the sinful nature convinces us that, no, we're, we really don't have to do this. But there's also another reason, and sometimes we have to watch this one. Because some people say, well, what happens if I go to the wrong people? What happens if I, I plant the seed of faith and someone is going to go to hell? And somehow we have our own little sinful nature that rises up as this little Pharisee that says that, that I can only do this with good people. So I'm going to look down my nose at the people that are unbelievers and say, well, you're on your way to hell anyhow. Whoa, 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 be careful of that one. Because you see, God says there is no one righteous, not even one. That we are no different than an unbeliever. The only difference is that God has entered our heart to produce that faith first. But God says we're still sinners. We still need his word. We still need forgiveness. And so that's why it's so important for us to realize that the only way to change people and the only way to change this world is one soul at a time planting the seed of faith in hearts. And sometimes we might have to plant a whole bushel basket of seeds. But the thing is that it's not our job to decide who we should uh, plant the seed in. That's God's job to decide who's going to come to faith. No, God says, plant the seed of faith in all hearts. Because if we don't, we're like the fishermen here who said, I'm not going to throw my, my net into the water because I might get some bad fish. No, God says, be like the fishermen, throw your net into the water, get up all kinds of fish, then God will decide at the end of times who's going to heaven and who's going to hell. And that's why it's so important for us to understand this, to overcome that sinful nature, that little Pharisee in us that says that, that I can't do this because that's Satan's way of stopping us. Now, the Great Commission says go. Go and make disciples of all nations to bring the word of God to them, to bring the gospel to them, to bring the, gospel, the, the love of Christ to them. Because when we do, we help people find Jesus. The best definition of evangelism I ever heard, it's simply one beggar telling another beggar where to find food. By the grace of God, we have found food. Now we see how all, all of the people all around us who are beggars, they're looking for food. They're starving for love and peace and hope. Help them find it. Show them Jesus Christ and his love in you and through you. Because it's amazing to see what God can do when we carry out his will. And the hearts that can be changed by God when we simply plant the seed of faith. May God help us overcome our own sinful nature and carry out the great commission. Amen. We pray. Oh Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us to faith in so many different ways. Help us now to overcome our own sinful nature so that we can spread your gospel to all people and that you, with the power that only you have, can bring people to faith and ultimately bring them to heaven. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen.